Birthdays in Salesforce important topic because uh, obviously you would like to uh, connect to your donors and customers, especially on their birthday, uh, obviously. So uh, yeah, let's see how we can uh, facilitate uh, this in Salesforce are using uh, simply uh, reporting um, and uh, together with a subscription functionality in order to, to just send out birthday reminders to account owners. So we're not sending out anything to the contact itself, but just to the owner of the account. So then the account owner can really decide what to do. I'm going to show you where this information is on the contact object, and then we're going to create this report together with a subscription. And lastly, I'm going to show you how this reminder really looks like. Okay, let's jump into the system. Um, this is my demo org and the information on the birth date itself is on the contact. So let's just open up a random uh, contact here and you see this is the field. It's called birth date. It's a standard field. You don't need to create it from scratch. It's already there. You just need to populate it. Next, let's create the report to really filter out relevant contacts. So for that reason, we click here on reports and you click here new report and here you choose as a report type contacts and accounts. You click start and now you have the, the surface of it. It's still empty. We'll fix that in a second, but first let's remove columns uh, that are not needed. For example, title and uh, address information is not needed. Um, and in addition, let's add uh, the field birth date because it's not there from the beginning. And I've added it here so you can see here that there is a new column called birth date. Um, next, let's switch to filters to filter out relevant uh, contacts. So here you have the option to just uh, have your uh, contact displayed or just everybody. I leave it as is and uh, on the next filter create a date I would just uh, set here all time. So now you really should see all your contacts, no matter of the created date. Okay. Next, let's add a filter for birth date. And this really uh, depends on what you need. In my scenario, I would like to um, receive all the names whose birth date is for example next week so always in the upcoming week so i click here add filter and i search for birth date and uh, the operator uh, is fine now the trick is to not use an actual date here so to not use this but to use to click here on use relative date because what you can do now is you can basically ignore the actual year of the birth date and just um, ask the system to show you the birth dates that happen, for example, um, next week. So I enter here next week. So let's hit here apply. And now I see much less contacts. And if I look at the birth dates, then I see that this really makes sense. Those are the birth dates that are uh, uh, in the upcoming week. Save and run. And let's give it a good name. For example, birth dates. You're not saving it in a private report, but actually in a public one. If you do this, then you can use the subscription functionality. So let's hit here, save. 
Great. And as a last step, let's click here on this drop down and click subscribe. Great. So also this here is really relevant to what's on what you really need. Uh, let's say I would like to receive uh, those reminders on a weekly uh, basis, not on Monday, but actually on Thursday um, at, let's say, two o'clock. Um, so what that means is that each week on Thursday at two o'clock, I receive a reminder of all the birthdays that happen in the next week. So I can, there is also a nice a new feature that you can add your additional conditions. For example, you could say only if the list is bigger uh, than zero. So if there are really birthdays happening, then I would like to receive this reminder if there are no upcoming birthdays. So just don't send anything. Great. You hit save and now you have created a report and the subscription of all the people whose birthday is in the upcoming week. And to finalize this, let's uh, look on how this uh, reminder really looks like. So this is the email that I have received. It comes uh, from Salesforce and the title is the title of the report. Um, you can click here to get directly to the report. Let's do this. So here's the report in Salesforce, or you can just scroll down and see some more uh, information on what we've sus subscribed to. And you see the list of contacts whose birthday is actually in the upcoming week. And obviously you could also click here. Let's click on Celia Boston. And then you get to um, the actual contact whose birthday comes up very soon. Okay, I hope this was uh, useful to you. If uh, you liked the video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel of SF Happyo um, in order to get more updates and more tips and tricks on how to make your Salesforce more valuable to you. Have a great day.